Hey, everybody. You know, it's Monica Reynolds, and I appreciate you being on this call. I know if you're going to family reunion, it is arsenic hour, meaning arsenic day, meaning, oh my gosh, Reg, the real estate god, R-E-G, real estate god, has given you so much business, so many things to do. So I appreciate you being on this call. It's a fast 30 minute call. I talk fast. I have a lot of slides. I have a lot of information. Okay, Stephanie, let's go to the next slide. So a lot of you know, I've been around since the dinosaurs were walking around. We did have cars, but that was about it. I've worked, uh, of course, with Keller Williams. I dug the well on assistance and team. I wrote books in 1990. Some of you have weren't even born then, but that's okay. Um, a lot of my information ended up in the MREA book because Gary and I are good friends and he loved what I was writing. So I know this, the deal on systems and I know the deal on assistance because they changed my life. Next slide, Stephanie. There'll be a lot of things on these slides. If you want something, you just reach out to me at monica at kw.com. Yeah, that's my email. I had to work hard for that one, monica at kw.com. And of course, these are always available on the MAPS YouTube channel, or you can email me at monica at kw.com and we will get them to you. So next slide, Stephanie, let's get started. Okay, so don't be daunted by the next slide, okay? Because I'm going to share exactly how this works. So there's a couple of things to look at here. So just take a deep breath and I'm gonna go through these systems with you coming up in the next fast 28, 29 minutes. So let's say you hire an assistant. They are a profit center. They are the profit protectors for you, but they're also a profit center. You should get at least a four to 10 times return on your assistant. You're going, what? And I hire every assistant and Stephanie's on this call for 14 years with me and I said, you will make more money in referrals. She was licensed at the time. And, and your salary is just to, to make your living expenses, expenses. Your bonuses now are going to be how you create your wealth. And so when you have that kind of conversation with assistants, they are not cul-de-sac. They are not cul-de-sac. So let's say that they have, they've lived in the community forever. Let's say they haven't lived in the community long, but they go to work out, they go to church, um, they had a previous job, they have neighbors. They would bring in four referrals. Now, I'm going to show you a way they bring in 20 at the end of the call, but let's just say they bring in four referrals. And the average commission for you is 10000 and I know most of you have a larger commission than that. Then they're going to get 2500 I call you with a referral, you pay me that. Pay your assistance for their friends and family, past co-workers, neighbors, church, daycare, whatever it happens to be. If they're licensed, they get that. You can pay them any bonus you want until they get licensed, 500,000, whatever, until they get licensed. Now, they should be asking for referrals from every single current client. Now, the script is, thank you very much for working with our team. We so appreciate your business. May I ask you a favor? Our business is based on referrals from great people like you. Who do you know right now that we can help buy or sell a home? And so in the perfect real estate assistant training, which most of you probably have been on in this call, that script is repeated over and over and over again. It's critical that they are asking the clients at least once a week for a referral. You will get them if you ask. If you don't ask, the answer is no, right? All right, so let's look at reviews. The reviews obviously are some things that people look at. I just talked to a, a client or a, an agent the other day, client for me because I coach, and she was saying how someone had looked up all the reviews and said, we looked up all the reviews of these three or four agents. You had the best ones. So they do pay off. They do pay off. And what if those four reviews led or those reviews led to four leads? What if they led to business? Okay, there you go, Right database you grow the database by 600 people with completes name address phone number and emails that could be priceless putting systems into place and i'm going to go through eight systems here with you very quickly that are absolutely instrumental to your assistant have a return on investment an roi a profit attached to that client appreciation parties you know we, in the perfect real estate system we have a three month six week out five four three two one week out and they can coordinate all of this. You don't need to hire an outside service. And, you know, the, the, the amount of money can be astronomical when you're hiring an outside service. And yet when you have a system that's duplicatable and scalable, it can go quickly and fast. And it's not a big burden to someone to take this on. 
So client appreciation referrals coming out of that, making sure that the assistant is, you know, greeting everyone that's coming in and handing them a clipboard saying, thanks for coming, please sign in. And by the way, if you have a referral, we have a gift table over here, a nice bottle of wine or a gift card to Amazon. Those are the techniques that you can't do it all in leveraging. A real estate assistant changed my life and I dug my feet in hard. I was not going to hire someone. I was divorced with three little kids. I didn't need what I felt was another mouth to take on to feed. And yet when I was convinced by a business person to do that, I said, okay, I'll hire one for one month. I doubled my business. I went from 55 transactions to 120 in one year with one assistant. And then I added another assistant and then I went to 150 transactions. It can be done. Your job as a real estate assistant is to lead generate, lead follow-up, go on appointments, write contracts, negotiate. That's it. Those have dollar signs. If you're not talking to people about real estate, you're not making any money. If you're not at an appointment, you're not making any money. So remember your job. And when you hire an assistant and you look at the next side and they're doing the marketing, the Facebook ads, um, let's say they recruit a buyer agent that they've been talking to and say, hey, I think this would be a good agent for us. They just sold another listing of ours. They just sold two. Let's talk to them. That could be priceless. Listing systems, closing systems, customer service where they're saying, we so appreciate your business. Is there anything else we can do to help your day? They have a clear speaking voice. They're friendly. They understand when a problem comes across. I'm so sorry that happened. Let me see what I can do to help you immediately. Ritz Carlton service. First impression on the phone that they're answering the phone with a clear voice. Now they'd have to answer the phone. So you got to make sure that all the phone calls go into a, you know, direct line, whether it's digital or however you do it, they need to have that phone. So one agent that I coach that does over 150 transactions, she says, I've got to give this phone up. And I go, you are such a control monster. She goes, I just don't even know where to start. And I said, well, go hand it to your assistant, go down to the Verizon, AT&T store, whatever, and get a new phone and only give that to your family and friends. I never, ever <laughs> put my phone with business card or the sign because my team, we had a system which allowed those phone calls to be answered right away. So again, it's a system. And I know it's step-by-step. Step, and I might be blowing your brains here a little bit, but step-by-step. Step. Phone screener, someone who knows how to answer the call. So I teach the assistants that I train potential buyer seller script. Thank you for calling. You're calling on a great property while I give you that information. I mean, I ask you a couple of questions. How long have you been looking for a property? How did you happen to call? Oh, you're calling from a sign call. Great. You know, have you written any other offers? Now, everything I just said, an unlicensed person can say. They can't talk about price. They can't talk about terms or condition of a contract or mortgage rates or things like that. I'm very clear what they can do. I will keep you legal in that area. But assistants can ask quite a few questions, all right? Um, vacation backup. If you're going to family reunion, isn't it great to have someone answering those calls, handling things, pushing files through that need to be pushed through and you're not trying to do paperwork at night or early in the morning? You know, and obviously a policy and procedures manual. You know, I just got off a call with Gary Keller and he's very clear you need an operations manual. Okay, on the next slide, Stephanie, let's talk about goals. So the first system is you got to monitor goals and the best monitor of those goals is an assistant because we know a lot of agents like myself, I'm not really a numbers person, I'm numbers challenge, but I like to know the numbers. I like to know how many contacts to an appointment, how many appointments to a listing signed, how many listings signed to, to a closed listing. And so I'm very clear about that. So when you have a GPS, which is goals, priorities, and strategies, which I explain in the assistant program very clearly, I am the best at those because I used to give one for three years in a row to Gary personally when I was running MAPS as a VP. I know exactly how those should be written. 411s, every assistant should have a 411. They should also have a GPS and they should also have a business plan. So this business plan is the assistant business plan, which has the team goals, and yet they're responsible for reviews, referrals, and their own referrals. And I'm going to show you toward the end how they get 20 referrals a year. Okay, the next slide, let's talk about the listing systems tips for success. So when you look at the listing systems tips for success, 
you know, pre-list package. Let's say you don't have one and you go, oh, where am I going to start? Why don't you start with command? There's a couple of suggestions there, but you wouldn't do that. Your assistant would do that. You would also ask a few of the agents that you network with, hey, send me your pre-list package. I love to see it uh, out of area, I'm sure, of course, right? And your assistant builds that bulletproof checklist that absolutely checks off every single thing so that that customer experience on the listing is absolutely 100% the very best. Pass the baton. So when you hand that file over, how do you arm your assistant? You'll see that coming up for immediate success. The showing form, I'm gonna show you that. Hang on, price improvements. What's great about the price improvements is that if your assistant's licensed, then they can learn how to get the price improvements. And there's a whole system for that. And it's really simple, simple. And But we're setting it up at the listing presentation and you're, send, you're giving the, the seller, here is my assistant's business card. She is the listing manager. He is, she's professionally trained. Train, I'll train them. And that uh, they're also licensed. They will be speaking to you on a regular basis. Handling all incoming phone calls. Obviously, you have to have someone who knows how to handle those calls, who knows how to diffuse possibly a, a volatile situation. And of course, that's with training. And so when you want to have an assistant that has a return on investment, invest in them in training. Next slide, Stephanie, is pass the baton. So a long time ago, I made a huge mistake. And that mistake was that I handed a file to one of my listing managers and I ran out of the room with my hair on fire because I had another appointment I was running to and I failed to mention something. And so when she called, she was Miss Bubbly, Tori was her name. Hi, this is Tori, blah, 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 with Monica Reynolds team. We're so excited to help you with your getting your home sold. It sounds lovely. The person on the other line was very quiet. Yes, and I understand you just had a new baby. Congratulations, I, I mentioned that. I failed to mention the other part, which is coming up. After she went through the whole thing, she toned down her happy-go-lucky tone. And she said, you know, Mrs. Johnson, it was great speaking with you. I know you're probably busy with your baby. I'd love to speak to your husband. How would I reach him? Well, why don't you call his pregnant girlfriend? Click and hung up. Shocking, right? And it was like, whoa, we blew that. I should have mentioned, this is the dream home that they built two years ago. This is her first child. And her husband now has his assistant pregnant, not his assistant, you know what I mean, but uh, she is assistant. And so she's pregnant and now he's gone. So this is a major, major thing. Tell the assistant, he or she, they're happy, they're sad, they're moving. The motivation is this. The wife and, and husband are excited. The kids are very unhappy about the moving. They have a dog named Tank. And Tank is a 250-pound Wattweiler. They have no kids. That dog has his own bedroom. He watches dog TV all day and he has a certain, you know, run of the house. So we have to learn who these people are to build these relationships because the goal is repeat and referral business. So that is the pass the baton that allows that assistant to make that first call and be very successful. The next one file, the next uh, form I'm going to share with you is feedback. I am a big proponent of never, 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 and by the way, never use showing time or any of that other stuff that, that Zillow owns. I personally like an assistant to call and say, hi, you know, this is Stephanie with Monica Reynolds' office. First of all, thank you for showing that house this afternoon. Can I ask a quick one minute of questions? Sure, what are they? Is your buyer going to write an offer? No. What would it take for your buyer to write an offer? Blah, blah, blah. By the way, we respect your opinion. What do you feel the home will sell for? You will get honest answers. You do not get honest answers. And don't tell me you do, because I, I would not put the whole honest truth on some of those things, because I didn't want it to come back and bite me, because I knew those sellers would be looking at it. You will get honest answers. And by the way, it's a great way to recruit agents to Keller Williams or to recruit to your team. When you have someone who's showing property, you know they're active and busy. Okay. Let's go to the next slide, Stephanie. So the next slide is closing tips for success, all right? And this is the closing systems. Now, <clears throat> some of you will take a deep breath on this. These people, whether you receive the cooperative compensation, I know the rulings now from the legal world, if you didn't receive the entire 6% or whatever it happened to be, 
they still, as a listing, paid you that amount of money. As a buyer, that is your future listing. Therefore, calling them every day when they're absolutely out of control is very important. I never say to a client, we'll call every day. We call often. And I give the assistants the scripts for 21 days. It's basically a lot of, just wanted to let you know this got done. And oh, by the way, this is happening. And, you know, I'll talk to you soon again. And instead of having a lot of calls coming in, your, your assistant is making those outgoing calls and their time block. Bulletproof checklist. In this world, you have to have the most incredible bulletproof closing checklist. And when something is not going on according to the time schedule, red flag. We know now we've got to circle back to this to get this to happen. Pass the baton when that happens. If you have a team from a listing manager to a TC or a buyer agent to a TC or you to the TC, setting expectations. You know, I'll show you an expectation script coming up right now about appraisals, about um, what's going to happen next as far as um, the lender appraiser, what's going to happen next as far as the home inspector. Reviews and referrals. You never close a file that you didn't get a five-star review and a referral. And that's my system. Okay, next, Stephanie. Let's go to the next one. That has to happen on to closing. That's where you build that relationship. So the next slide is going to be setting expectations for a closing. So I empower the assistants to have a very good script. I just gave this to someone who was really, um, I would say, timid and possibly um, not very confident. And once she got these scripts, her agent said, oh my gosh, night and day, they're so confident now. So basically you're saying to the buyer, we're not gonna repair all the crazy stuff. We're looking for things like, like a health hazard. We're looking for structural defects. We're looking for code violations. You're setting the stage and you're saying to the seller, every buyer is gonna wanna request repairs. We're going to, we've negotiated thousands of repairs and we're, we will give you our advice, you know, and the things that, that could be deal that make things fall apart is a health hazard. Well, what would that be? Like a mold issue. Well, we don't have that. Great. We understand that. Any kind of a code violation, any kind of a foundation problem. So we're looking for those structural defects that possibly could happen. Well, we don't have any of those. Great. The list should be small. Prepare them, prepare them. How valuable is that? When you have an assistant who can handle that. Now, an assistant can say those things. If they're not licensed, they cannot negotiate the repair, saying they're asking for $900 in repairs. They're asking for $2,900 for the roof, blah, blah, blah. They cannot do that if they're not licensed. So be careful of that. The next one, let's talk about the profitable database system. So, you know, Gary was on this call today and I wrote down what he said and I thought it was pretty good. You know, when you have uh, an operations manual and you have systems, then you can build the business that you deserve, but you have to be on the same page. And so when you go back to what I was talking about, the GPS, the business plan, the 411, those are all one page usually. And that one pager is critical to everyone being on the same page. And yet then you need to have the systems that support the one, one page of goals. So look at this system, monthly tracking of goal. It should be in the numbers you track. How many completes did we put in the database? Name, address, phone number, and email. Okay, monthly marketing plan. You should have a quarterly marketing plan. What are you doing for March? Are you sending out, you know, some agents send out these funny St. Patrick's cards and put a lottery ticket in there. Um, what are you doing to stay in touch with your best clients each month? Are you taking anyone out for lunch once a week that's one of your star clients who send referrals to you or have done multiple transactions? Is your assistant putting a marketing plan together like that for you? One email per month, one video per month. I mean, all of that is so priceless. Smart plans, obviously, opportunities and pipeline, keeping track of that. If your assistant put in all the leads in there, has anyone ever lost a lead? I know I've been on that boat. How many have lost a lead, right? And then you look at Facebook ads, you know, when they're done properly and you're given the tips on how to do that properly and command has a lot. Of course, I have a lot too that really work. 
that's invaluable when your assistant does that and, and all of a sudden there's four or five leads that pop up. Okay, let's go to the next one. Number five, referrals. This is where I'm going to dive into a couple of things. When you have a client, on the next slide, Stephanie, when you have a client, I need my assistant in this course. Yes, Kim, you do. Yeah, hang in there. Okay. All right. You got to track the growth of, uh, first of all, you got to track the growth of the database. All right. So the goal is to have three completes each day in the database per Gary Teller. That's 60 per month. You structure and organize your database with different tags. And on those tags is agent, team, vendor, sphere of influence, clients for life. Then I'd start tagging out different things like, you know, baby boomers, people over 65, they're on the move. They have the most money. They usually have free and clear property. Sometimes they're on the move. They're influencers. You can tag out so many different things. Some, someone said they had 32 tags and they go, well, good for you. I hope you got a posted somewhere where you know these people are, right? You can tag out certain neighborhoods if you have a farm, tag them. If your assistant did that, would that be powerful for you? Would that be valuable you know, that you're tagging these things as they go in and you're saying, okay, make sure they're in a, a tag of past client, but make sure they're a tag that they're also, you know, a baby boomer. What percentage of your business comes from database? It should be 35%, but hold on everybody. Somebody's going to say, well, mine's 65. Well, good for you. You need to be looking for more new business. 35% includes five areas. Write this down. Agent, Okay, that's an agent referral is different than a past client referral. Center of influence referral is different than a past client agent referral. Vendor referral, are you getting referrals from your vendor? I have a sure way that you get one every single month from a vendor and the assistant is in charge of that. Is that valuable to you? Of course it is. And then the last one is the team referral, which we'll be talking about here coming up. I'm gonna give you a great example of how to do that. Okay. When you look at the next slide, I learned this from Monica Kelts, and she has the same name I am, and I do, and that I have. Go to the next slide, Steph. And what is on this slide, I hope, I hope we're going there, Stephanie. Next slide. Oh, we're going to do that one first. Okay. And then we'll go to the, okay, that's right. Okay. So here's the promise script. So um, write down the name Mike Hicks, H-I-C-K-S, lovely man. Um, so, or she's from Idaho, Idaho Falls, and he gets one referral out of every current client that he has, and it's a team effort. And he's basically saying after the listing sign, I have a goal to give you a 10 plus experience. We know it's real estate. We know it's people. And all I'm asking by us giving you a 10 plus experience, and we're going to check from time to time that you're getting that, is that you give us a referral from someone you know that's thinking about buying or selling. He gets it 100% of the time, but that's a system. And I lay that out very methodically. So when somebody said, I want to double my business and I go, good, get a referral from every current client you're working with right now. You're going to do 50 transactions, do a hundred, get 50 referrals. And so that's the goal. So the next slide, let me show you this, go to the next slide. So Monica Kelts is going to be joining me on the perfect real estate assistant classes. She's been to five classes. She's come out to San Diego when I did the two-day boot camp, and I can't tell you how great she is, and she's a director of operations of a team that does about three, 400 transactions a year, and so she started out as listing manager, the TC, and now she's a director of operations. She mentioned this on a call yesterday, and I go, okay, I'm putting that in the slide. Every one of her executive assistants has a goal of 20. 20 referrals? What if your assistant did that? Would that pay for them? Of course it would. And yet we don't think like that. We don't think of an assistant as a profit center. They are a profit center. So look at this one, five from preferred vendors. So she has her assistants divide up all the vendors. And so let's say that, you know, home inspector, let's say I got that one. I got the plumber, I got electrician, I got a window washer, and now I'm going to use my personal doctor or dentist. And so they all sat down and divided up all of the vendors, and they're going to get at least one from each one of those. Does that make sense? And so somebody else over here has a different set of vendors, and this assistant has a different set of vendors. You could do this with a buyer agent too. 
Okay, look at this one, five from friends. And then they list out the friends that they feel that they can get one referral from that year. Five from past clients. These are past clients that these assistants have absolutely been involved in and had a great relationship with. And you can go back further years. That pay is different. And I'll show you coming up, but that pay is different. The pay is 25% if they're licensed on these other ones. Uh, on friends, family, and neighbors, the pay is different on the vendor and the past clients. Not to get, get confused, but those are belong to basically the agent. Now, from family, from neighbors, she's listed these out. And so what's great is now this person has a plan. So I hope that resonates. And that was from Monica Kelts, And she is in the business, in the trenches every day. And she brings, she said that, and I went, huh, I'm going to make a form. And I made a form because that's what I like to do. All right, let's go to the next one, Stephanie. I believe this is number six, lead generation systems. Oh, first of all, you got to identify, and I got four months, four minutes left, so hang in there. I'm going to make it. All right, lead generation system. You need to identify five sources. You need have to have a quarterly return. And your assistant monitors when you make a mistake and you bought something at family reunion you shouldn't have. So don't buy anything, go home and think about it and make sure and do your research that it's gonna have a return. And then you have your assistant monitor it. If it's not making any money, then you gotta drop it, okay? Mark it of the moment. You don't just keep paying or forget about it and say, well, we're paying $800 for that. We really haven't gotten anything. So we spent $9,600. If you wanna send $9,600, send it to me. At least I'll put your assistant through the class a million times. <laughs> I got a better value than that. All right, for you. Okay, schedule and budget. Boy, you know, you got to look at market of the moment, the schedule, the budget, all of these things. You know, when it comes down in the schedule, if you've got lead generation systems, is it in the schedule? If your assistant kept you on track, would that help? If your assistant kept all the bills and organized them, would that keep you on track? Critical, critical. Next slide, number seven. Tracking numbers. I'm not going to cover a whole lot on this as soon as Stephanie pulls it up. You know, what are points are, you know, it's accountability. It's your scoreboard. It organizes your, your GPS. It builds a duplicatable and scalable business. And you have to have a scheduled review at least once a week. We would do a Friday report, number of listings we had, what was going on with them, the pendings, what was closing, what had a little iffy thing going on it. And most importantly, you know, in my world is there were five things that I teach the assistant to do. They send you a Friday report. Five things I did to move the business forward. Week high, week low, and how I wowed a customer. So if, if I say anything, you go, oh, I wish I had that form. You email me at monicakw.com. So if you want the Friday report form, you want the assistant, uh, you know, anything you saw here, the showing form, just put in the chat, put out the chat, email me at monicakw, we'll send it to you. And I'm a big proponent of whiteboards and I show everyone how to, Get a whiteboard for the most amazing accountability. Okay, next slides. So what numbers need to be tracked? Now, when, when you come to my calls, and I have one on March 7th after family reunion, you know that I, I always say I vomit everything I know because I'm so passionate. I have the systems, I have the knowledge, and I'm still doing it after 44 years. And I want you to know that your investment, if you join the perfect real estate assistant, you will get that 100 times over. So here are the numbers you need to track. Listing appointments, buyer appointments, listings taken, buyer broker agreement signed, listings pended. It's all there. Database, recruiting calls. If you're growing your team, it has to be in your schedule, closed, et cetera. Next slide, Stephanie. Customer for life. Okay. So the customer for life, the event ideas, in you, when you come to the program, the perfect real estate assistant, you are given a blueprint step by step by step for each of these programs that are also duplicatable for other programs, in-person events, um, after every event, what's the follow-up. In most people that I coach, if they have 300 people come to an event, they have at least a 20% return. If they have 100 people come, they have 20% return, 18 to 20%. But we'd all take 18 to 20 leads, right? And even if you cut them in half and say, well, some are really not ready, you at least have people that you're building into your database. That's invaluable. And you have an assistant that does that? Tell me how much that's worth to you. Okay, so let's go to the next thing. 
So this is about how you pay your assistant. Okay, so hang on. I'm going to go about two, three minutes over. Building your business with your assistant, not a cul-de-sac. When they get a five-star review mentioning the team and they got it, pay them $25, just a suggestion. They get a referral from a current client, pay them $100 at close. A referral from the assistant's database of friends, family, past co-workers, co -workers, 25%. Go back to that referral form. If you want this slide, you can email me too at monicakw.com. All right, let's go to the next slide. So I have the privilege and I'm going to be a little, a little tired. If you look at this, these are my five sessions. If you want me to send you the five sessions that I'm going to be at family reunion, so you or your team could be there, that would be great. You can email me at monicakw.com. The sessions that I would point out that I would highly recommend you go to is number three or number five. It's a duplicate, but I'm speaking at that. So sometimes the panels are great and I'm facilitating all those panels but I love to speak and share with you those models, which is totally different material than this. Next slide, Stephanie. All right, so here's a QR code coming up for a, a webinar, but you got on this one, so you'll know about that one, recruit, retain, great assistance and buyer agents. I have the best, the best recruiting package. It'll blow your brains out. It'll be so great, it's so fun. What I do to recruit a great assistant or agent, it's like nothing you've ever seen. Nobody else does it like I do. So there's a QR code on that you can sign up for. Next one. All right. Please don't put it in the chat box because we don't get to the chat box. So you have to email me. So email me, monica at kw.com. Perfect real estate assistant. Okay. All right. 44 years of models and systems that I have built or I've coached the very, very top agents in the country. My reputation is that I am a systems person. I dug the well on assistants. I dug the well on teams. I absolutely have the credentials doing two, 300 transactions a year. I have the credentials. And so what I want to share with you is that the road to success is paved with mistakes. You can have less mistakes and build your business faster by coming to this class. There is Monica Kelts, who is an active director of operations. They'll do 300 plus transactions this year. She brings a lot of valuable insight like that form I just put together. There are 18 calls. The first call every month is for you, the agent, to be a great boss. And I know a lot of you are a little challenged with leadership because you're a great salesperson. So let me help you with that. And I also help you understand what we're building in a policy and procedures manual. You get 450 pages of policy, procedures, 75 checklists, all the scripts that you can imagine uh, I should say conversations for you and your assistant. It's all there. Go to the next slide, please, Stephanie. Since you're on this call too, you'll be hearing about the two-day boot camp. And I'm going to Springfield, Missouri, where Monica Kelt's office is. And if you want everything all at once, and I don't even know where my book is right now. Oh, here it is. This is a 21 playbooks here everything's already there it's just plug and play ready to go so all the systems are there and you can you can you'll get some information on that next slide very important to me to say this next slide thank you all right monica at kw.com if you need something you email me if putting in the chat box was great but i can't do anything about that so with that said if you're at family reunion you want to know where I'm at, email me. We'll send you the uh, information of the breakout sessions. I'm in five and there's two that I'm presenting in and three that I am facilitating. They will be good because I make all those agents great on stage by asking the right questions. So hopefully you're coming. If not, please sign up for the Perfect Real Estate Assistant class. I'd love to work with you. The calls are live and you absolutely can reach out to me anytime for any of your questions. Thank you very much. If you're going to family reunion, travel safe. If not, hope to see you on the call on March 7th. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Miles. Thanks, Stephanie. We'll see you there. Okay, bye-bye.